I basically got nothing. Um, so here's to a freeform rant. Uh, I hope this rant actually materializes in something good. Usually when I start get going, I can't shut the fuck up. Um, <clears throat> and it's not like the other vlogs haven't been freeform rant. Um, I have beef with Newsom and Inslee and all these other busybody governors and government officials in general. Uh, and not just because they're normally like this, but the pandemic has concentrated power in the hands of mega corporations who can afford to shoulder the burden of the economic upset caused by the state. They have been given so much more power and the power of the common person to seek alternatives has diminished significantly if not been completely crushed especially since the debasement of the currency appears to be intentional so that they can finally say hey fuck it let's switch over to the digital dollar this has been veritably proven um, I've written extensively about this situation for the past year for Agoras Nexus I've been called a conspiracy theorist insane crazy whatever what have you um, and maybe you're right, but the facts are on my side. They put through the bill, you know, uh, they've got Accenture and Rockefellers on board, you know, it doesn't matter what the people want. What matters is that they want to force this privacy free system. And a significant enough amount of people don't fucking give a shit. That they might even get away with it. Um, so, what, what, do, what does this do? Well, a disempowered people are less likely to fight back. A disempowered and then incentivized to obey people are almost certainly not going to fight back. Vaccine lotteries. Gavin Newsom launched his own vaccine lottery, same as so many other people. Many corporations are saying free vaccine thing, insert thing. And it's all around the same. So when I read this Gavin Newsom tweet, uh, sort of look at it as uh, the template for what the rest of the country already did or is doing. Gavin Newsom said, California is launching a $116.5 million giveaway for vaccinated Californians. $15 million in cash prizes for 10 winners selected 615 50k for winners on 64 and 611 already vaccinated you're entered not vaccinated next 2 million that get fully vaccinated can also get a $50 card in that fun <laughs> it's it's fucking dystopian yo it's dystopian out here. California has a population of bordering on 40 million people. 2 million people getting a card for Albertsons, which is, yes, what it is, is not going to solve shit in their personal lives. You know what it is going to do? It's going to incentivize them to get a thing that might very well be hurting a significant amount of people. And to get it to be in compliance with government restrictions and private 
restrictions from corporations who have been directly boosted, supported, and generally empowered by the government, especially given the COVID bullshit, where these corporations now have the whole market, with very few exceptions. Small businesses got fucked. I see so many boarded up fucking shops in the place where I am. And this is a city. This is a bustling metropolis where action is. Right? Where I come from, it's worse. I come from an unpopulated shit-ass desert. It's worse there. They have less money to buffer the population. <laughs> The loans were a scam. The government never really gave a shit. And a fuck ton of people are fucked. So what do you do when your policies have fucked people over for a significant period of time and made it so that they're so poor they can't... <laughs> I love this phrase. They're so poor they can't even pay attention. Huh? What do you do? You dangle bits over their face and say, If you do what we say, if you just accept the shot, we will give you $50. But only if you act fast. The rest of y'all who don't act fast, y'all get to keep being poor. And hey, if you're real lucky... We'll give you fifteen million dollars. Uh a fifty thousand dollars for a lot of you. How sick is that? Additionally people don't commonly think about how this shit works. That money is coming from a broke government. The U.S. government is broke. It's bordering on $30 trillion in debt, and every additional thing like this is yet more added to that debt. When debt increases, inflation increases. Debt and the expansion of the currency supply is... <laughs> Is, is, is a sponge collecting fluid and it grows bigger every time money is pumped into the economy. Every single time. They reduce your purchasing power. They rob all of us. They give corporations more power and give you a tiny amount of money to spend at those corporations, giving them yet more money and yet more power. That's what this was. This whole fucking thing. All of it. Period. It was a power grab. 100%. From step to stern. They get more surveillance. They get to scan people's temperatures coming into certain places. They get to ask intrusive questionnaires everywhere. They get to demand that you cover your face everywhere. They get to demand that you accept an experimental vaccine everywhere. They get to do all of this while empowering their corporate allies, giving a fuck ton of money to the Pentagon, which is the primary recipient of COVID funding. Let's not forget. And they get to do all of this while muscling through massive changes to social infrastructure that the World Economic Forum admits are just because we might as well, now that, now that we got everybody under control, we might as well just force these changes that nobody wanted, that they would have rebelled against. And now they've got a loyal army of Karens who are the real Karens to do their bidding and make sure everybody follows the program. 
plain and simple. When Gavin Newsom or any other cunt claims that he's <coughs> giving away anything, call them the liars they are. Do it, because that's not a giveaway. They don't have anything to give. They never have. Everything the state has gotten was stolen. Every single fucking thing. They don't have any power that wasn't ill-gotten. They don't have any land that wasn't ill-gotten. They don't have any buildings, any vehicles, any infrastructure, any money, anything. Anything that's not ill-gotten, the state does not have. So what do they do? They keep you in compliance. They beat the fuck out of you if you disobey. That hasn't changed just because of the virus. So many people can protest police brutality, but they fail to recognize that whenever the state acts in this kind of way or any other, no matter how benevolent it might seem on the surface, no matter how yippee ki you might feel for having potential to win a lottery, the real lottery is for your rights, and you are losing every single time. You are less likely to have the government protect your rights than to win the lottery. Because the government serves itself, its interests, its corporate allies, its hegemonic fucking friends. It's friendly fascism. It's no wonder U.S. allies around the globe act like fucking fascists. It's no wonder the U.S. was heavily populated by Nazis after World War II. It's no wonder America did so much business with Hitler. <laughs> Let's not forget Bear Infanta, IBM, so many staple brands used to be fucking Nazi scum. And I'm not comparing vaccine passports to a Jew star like some other people. But what I am doing is comparing one fascism to another. This may not look that bad on the surface to somebody who obeys. But that's why it's called friendly fascism. <laughs> that's why it's called friendly fascism because it's not the full, threadbare, evil, dystopic control of normal fascism. It's a fascism that's disguised. It's question everything by Hyundai. It's Barbie running cover for the CIA and the Washington Post. It's a giveaway of money that was stolen from everyone. Yeah, somebody might get rich. They might think it was a great fucking idea because they got rich. People who benefit generally tend to not fucking rock the boat on that which benefited them. But to the rest of the people, to people who did disobey, to the people who continue to disobey, to the people who do not cave to the state's pressure, to the peer pressure they have infected the population with since childhood, to the media pressure to <laughs> constantly knuckle under to whatever the prevailing narrative of the day is, no matter how contradictory it is to the last narratives of the last days. To the military when they come through the town to instate martial law. To the cops who force people to obey certain policies. To the system. To the corporations who demand your fucking 
obsequious, begging obedience. And who's seen nothing wrong with using state power to force you under a new paradigm because it benefits them. Especially this privacy-free currency. They get easier access to your money. It gets to get withdrawn whenever the U.S. government fucking feels like it. There will be no cash, so you won't be able to hide anything in cash. You'll barely be able to transact in cryptocurrency because exchanges will automatically recognize your U.S. dollar wallet. Your nice little Visa or MasterCard or something. They're trying to fundamentally fuck the economy. They're trying to fundamentally fuck the little guy. They're trying to disempower the poor and keep them in chains. They sense a popular uprising. The world sensed a popular uprising. There were so many fucking protests before this virus, and then the streets were cleared. I wonder fucking why. It's almost like they wanted an excuse to quell people's upset without changing a fucking thing for the better. And to then make things actively worse because it makes people easier to control. And then maybe, just maybe, you too can get a $50 gift card to Albertsons. You feeling it yet, Mr. Krabs? This angry rant was brought to you by Offsect Drip. Feel free to check out 62nd, I got it wrong yesterday, uh, vlogs of general news content from a libertarian perspective. Feel free to subscribe to me, him, and smash the state.